Whenever I'm judging middle school solo and ensemble contest and a student comes in and sings the song from the heart, oh, I tear up every time. I love this song. Homeward Bound by Marta Kane is on the Texas PML list for UIL solo and ensemble contest as a class three solo. You can find it in the Folk Songs for Solo Singers, Volume 1, and I am using the medium-high version. As you're going through the song, make sure that you have enough breath. Breathe when there are breath marks. Too many people do not take advantage of the breath marks. There are eight breath marks written in this song. You should use them and also take really nice breaths during the rests. There are other places that you can take breaths and your teacher will probably help you with that. It's pretty much at punctuation marks or at the end of the poetic line. Let's look at the first few measures. The word in can be quite problematic. Here in America, and especially in the South, whenever we use the word in, we tend to smile when we say it. But when you're singing with classical styling, you don't want to smile when you say the word in. It causes just a bit of a problem as far as the sound. If you were to smile, it would sound more like this. In the quiet, misty morning. If on the other hand, you keep your corners in and you say more of a in instead of an in, in, you get a much nicer, rounder sound, and that's what the judge is going to be looking for. So it'll sound something like this. In the quiet, misty morning. In. And it'll help take you all the way through that phrase without changing your sound too much. Next, let's look at measures five through seven. In measure six on beat three, that can tend to be problematic for some. You're going from the word bed, which is on a C, up to the word when on an E flat. I would implore you to use the H in when, and instead of singing when, sing when, just to get a little bit of air out to help you with that leap. Sometimes, that can be on someone's break. Well, what we call a break. It's not really a break. It's just where we have a register shift in our voice. And sometimes it feels like you're hitting a wall and you can't go any higher. And that's what causes the problem there. Instead of, when the moon has gone to So you see there, it starts getting lighter and lighter as you're going up, and then when you come back down, you can get a little more depth or roundness to your sound. But if you add that H in and make sure that your sound is going out to your audience, it'll make a huge difference. Make sure your rib cage is nice and round. When the moon has gone to When, when, when the sparrows. That will really help you out on that phrase. The next spot that gets repeated periodically that I know gives a lot of students a big problem, but that's in measure 18 where you have your octave leap up. You just come off of bound in time, Bind me not. When you sing bound in time, that space that you have in your mouth on time, keep this space, even though you have to close for M. When you open, make sure you have a ton of space here. Don't think, oh, I have to adjust my mouth to get that higher note because you don't. It's pretty much the same feeling only you're just thinking higher. So, time, bind, bind, bind. 
Remember on diphthongs, we sing on the first vowel, which in this case is ah. So if we start on bound, we have bound in time. All it is is keeping the space back here, keeping your tongue nice and relaxed and touching all of your bottom teeth and making sure your sound is going out to your audience. And it makes a huge difference. In the description below, I put a few links to some pretty good recordings. Now two of them have some pop styling in them and I would not recommend that for UIL. However, they are good recordings and one of those is actually filmed in a place where you would think that this song takes place. Remember, every song has a story. This is a child who doesn't necessarily want to work on the farm, and they want to go out and explore. Have fun listening to the recordings, and have fun with the song. <laughs> 